what is going on everyone bulldozer man one here bringing you another vigor video today we're going to talk about 13.1 i just got home from the doctor's appointment got the update loaded up went immediately to the shooting range to kind of compare how the weapons are performing with those real extra reloads and with the extra bloom and stuff and um, i went straight back to what i did before so i did an l85 versus l86 i understand l85 is unchanged and L86 doesn't seem to be too affected. So that's a welcome change to me, the fact that the L86 is not like nerfed a lot. And the RPK-74 is also not nerfed a lot. And I did a direct comparison to what I did prior. So I did an RPK-74 to a 74 k And they don't seem to be uh, too different. They don't seem to be very affected. Even the M249, the recoil pattern and how it was prior to doesn't feel too different. There is a difference in reload. There is a difference in reload and there's a difference in jump shot bloom. I think there might be a difference in overall movement bloom, but it's the, that is too, too small for me to determine currently with uh, how much time I spent here. So weapons don't seem to be too different, which is, um, I guess, Less is more in this case, but at the same time, the the jumping right there, the jumping with the bloom, it's very exaggerated on the screen, but um, when you're actually jumping and shooting a target, it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, the target still dies almost immediately with a machine gun, especially if you're spraying while jumping. And even out at range, uh, jumping up and just spraying in that direction will result in death, uh, especially if you're using a machine gun, because, you know, accuracy by volume with these things uh the enhance the the extra bloom to jumping uh it's fine that's cool you know what that's a cool change uh it might deter some people but the aggressive sweaty players um they're still gonna run machine guns and they're still gonna do this if they have a longer reload time is that really a big deal if you're dead because they're gonna rush you and they're gonna overwhelm you because they don't have any penalties to rush forward and do the, that that maneuver, yeah, you've you've opened up the bloom, but they're gonna still kill you at at range at that range. You know, anything within, I would say, 40 yards and closer, is a typical MG sweat jump shot. They're gonna try to close the gap, and they're gonna do this. And here's a perfect example of the M249 when we have iron sight capability while jumping. The bloom nerf doesn't matter for that gun. So as far as like the most meta MG, uh, the M249, even though it had the 100 round nerf, is still gonna dominate the jump shot scene. The KK62 does does definitely perform less, less. Um, it's not as effective, but it's still more effective than doing that with an AR. So if I did that with an assault rifle, I'm gonna have less bullets to accomplish that. and since I can still do it with a machine gun and there's no stagger penalty and there's no stamina penalty, I can still rush forward and pull off the move. It, it, it does not deter me personally from running the same playstyle because I know no other gun is going to do it better other than maybe a shotgun. And I have to spend more time out there. The update just dropped. I wanted to get this out there. But uh, just go over the changes of the machine gun specifically. Um, I don't think that the changes to the reload speed and the bloom is enough to switch the meta. I don't think it's enough to shift it. I could be wrong. The shotguns might come over and dominate the uh, jump shot scene. Um, any gun with iron sight capability is going to outperform machine guns up until about the 50 yard line. 40 to 50 yards and closer, MGs are still going to be the way to be with your jump shots. And um, I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm just saying that's what's going to happen. Just looking at the way the weapons are performing and with the way the meta has already been established for almost six months. So um, I do look forward to changes uh, with stamina. I do look forward to maybe a stagger. Um, if I'm going to bring in caffeine, if I'm going to bring in adrenaline, that's going to be an expensive loadout that costs me. So if I'm going to bypass those penalties and I, I pay for it by bringing those cause, you know, bringing in those consumables, that's, that's kind of cool. I mean, that's an incentive to get your shit together, get your stuff loaded out so you can afford to do that. Uh, I don't think it's right because people still abuse the meta regardless. 
But, I mean, it is what it is. This is where we are with this game. Uh, I would like to have more to say on it, but I don't. So, I really think that my prior video, I kind of went into detail on what needs to change to get rid of the machine gun meta. I'm looking forward to what the devs are going to do based on that video. Uh, if there was some feedback, so that's good. You know, there was an acknowledgement. Hey, you know, you got some good points in the video. And cheers to the people that took the time to watch it. And uh, I'll just let the music play on this. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. There's still a few things you can watch as a comparison to see the tra changes for each each weapon. I did all the machine guns. So on that, I will talk to you guys on the next one.